T1's opportunity to start Baron and also threatening those picks kind of non-stop here. When the Drake spawns, they'll probably commit to trying to get some prio for that objective, but Faker here is one of those pick targets. Yeah, it does have his crown, and they're gonna look to try and stop him. They do deny the, uh, the shifting sands at the beginning, but then he just gets himself out. Another Glacial Prison comes in, aiming's gonna be interrupted by Oda. Absolutely beautiful play now. Carrier taking some damage, but the Featherstorm's going to save Gomiushi. Lahens has to go golden, and he's not gonna be able to get himself out of it. Kane is gonna be the first to go down in the fight, and T1 are just juggling the aggro gorgeously. Ko's gonna be the next victim here as T1 are looking for match point. They are looking for no mercy, and they wanna to head towards If you ever need someone who can get out of seemingly any jam, you get Faker on the Azir. And if you ever need someone who can help stop anyone chasing you down, you get Owner on the Sejuani. And if you ever need a team that can beat you back into the ground for daring to not kill them quickly enough, you get T1. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fizz Khalifa. Today we're taking a look at some of our favorite clips from 2023's LCK. As always, this league has been one of the most entertaining esports divisions of the year, and we can't wait to watch them have their home field advantage and no doubt the best crowd we've ever seen in Worlds. Until then, let's look back on the season's best moments, like this must-win series for DRX that was the penultimate of the regular season. This battle is being set up. They have the battle line drawn. Let's see who's going to be able to take that first step as it's Croco. Oh! He lands the sickest kick flash onto Teu and the Magnus Storm to follow up. And DRX are just having a great time now. Dudu, he's going to get wiped out by the feathers of Podok. A teleport to try and get the LeBlanc back to base. But there are more teleports as Fate turns up to the mid lane, brings along Tibbers. As well, Alkai ultimate a little bit early. They're trying to get position now onto this. As Faker gets to the back line and ults onto five people. As Meganar is in and Guma gets knocked off. He's not doing the damage, but it Stop does watch. not matter. And Stopwatch should be enough. And the rest of the team just peels away the onion. As Doran is so low and he can't take out Guma. And T1 just barely should be able to take the sound. Oh, they don't have Smite. Jeez. As they will take it at the end of the day. That will be the shutdown for Guma. Elda lives Sandbox coming back in a big way in this one. It's closer. Finds another Emperor's Divide. It's a double kill before he goes down. Magnus Storm as Bible's trying to be a hero. And now Death, the last man standing. He has to try and get this one done. The health bars are so extraordinarily low. There's the Void Seeker Willow going to be taken out. And now it's Teddy. Death versus Death. He finds the ulti. Teddy, he is going to use it. And he's gone. No picks up. That was such a fun fight to watch. With Deft clutching up at the very end to make it a hard-fought win for DK. That was the story of this whole game, really. Shout out to the showmaker Poppy Alt. That was actually so major for making the fight bearable enough for what was left of the team. Fortunately here, Faker can just do that by himself. Faker just on the dash, still has not flashed. As he will all about him over the wall just to escape. Still has his flash as he is under here and the owner getting over the wall with the cocoon and they turn this in. As down will go Juhan. As they really tried to force that one to be due, as here comes Henna. He's got cleansed. Immediately cleansed that one and ducked down. This is left out to dry. Nothing that the duo can do down here as Henna. Ooh. That is a double kill as he just immediately jumps on them and kills them both. Oh, man. Goes golden. Trusha Barrage gets a lot of work done, but that's the jungle of dead. For Quan on three should mean that this is second Elder going to Gen G. As Doran in a bit of trouble here goes golden. Your singularity goes, what? he's just said, what is going what? on? Moham collects it. Moham is going on this game. As now Bulldog, he's got a dragon. He is a dragon. He can use to kill people anyway. Oh my goodness. That could have been the mega throw for Gen G. And I'm not even entirely sure what actually happened. Dudu is down so incredibly low, but he's got a GA. He does not care. True shot for us. And the no! descends. That is the ace in Quandong Freaks. I think they've done it. Karis, uh, Chaos Storm, he's going to bask in it. There's Grand Challenge going to be a shoot. Dudu going to look for the kill onto Karis. He's going to get it. Now he's looking for even more. He's, oh my god, into the dead turret. He does have. Oh my god, what is this? It's what? insane. He's a god. Oh he gets god. the double. And now Morgan is chasing after him. He will flash. He will get the crush. But it's another repost. And Dudu is still going. Oh my god, this player may have just saved the game for Kwandong Freaks! It's not over yet, as he's now channeling it back. I think he's got another repost though, guys. I think he's got oh, another he's, one. He's, he's gone. I think he's fine. And they might get Dragon because of that! Well, Umpty's over here, but Young Jay's spawned again. 
Because so what a wild comeback for Dudu. This stall and escape not only kept him going, but gave the rest of Freaks enough time to take the dragon. Of course, sometimes that gap isn't as allowed, and you have to make it yourself. Like here, a little earlier in the spring, where KT was still struggling a bit to get off the ground. All right, well, they've, uh, they're back on. Willow's not dead. Willow, he's still in that brush, as you can see. So much damage for this Cassante, and I didn't know that I was going to say that. As Willa does show himself, they know that he's right over. Another arrow comes in. Chains of Corruption are going to connect as Lahan's getting taken down very, very low. Willa gets on in there, and they need to be stolen again! Are you kidding me, KT? Why? Why? How did this happen again? Repel! He does it out of Repel! You can just hold the damage! He can't oh. do anything while he's in Repel! How did that happen? Triple! I'm so, I just, I'm baffled. I'm completely... Stay alive, but we'll be down as... Uh oh Ah, uh uh-oh. Akuma is not level six. Passive coming in, Burrell is here, and now the Rakan joins as they do not Whoa. get the knock up on Akuma. As he's just able to dance around them like that. The Magnus Storm is here, and so is that S rank as Guma's gonna pick up the kill. Here comes Canyon, trying to shut them down on the bottom side. Might be able to get carry up, but look at Guma. Goes in, picks up another kill, as he is pretty dead, though. Feeling great. Want to pay attention. A couple of uh, key misses here from either team. Showmaker is gonna get engaged on right at the get-go here, even with his flash available, meaning that a lot of damage is actually missing, right? But King and also gets immediately blown up. And then here, uh, things look dicey. Zekka's able to get away. And then watch this Feather recall from Viper. If eh? if they don't flash that, they win the fight. Like, Viper just kills uh, kills Kana immediately and then Deft here. It's the, the combination of the threat that Jax provides as well as the fact that Deft just hits all of them. Every single one. The guy is forward. There's the Everfrost. Let's see whether he can keep himself alive. He gets the Unbreakable Will. And uh, he's going to take a lot of killing. Kingslayer also doing so much work, but they're able to tank up so well. Still, no he's, got an, he's got a stopwatch. You so know. he's fine. As many of them as possible. Yes, please, they say. As Bulldog might be forced to flash here, there is a lot of damage and a trap. Can he even flash? Okay, he will. And Barrel's just going to die. This is your Caitlyn support, folks. This is your creative region talking. You want to know something funny? Barrel went 158 this game. You want to know something funnier? DRX still won. You want to know something even funnier? He picked Caitlyn the next game too. You want to know something even funnier? He went 2-1-10 that game. I love this region. The games never fail to be entertaining. Here's how Hanwha Life was able to backdoor just enough to get a game on Gen G. Much damage with the Zeri. But it doesn't look like Gen.G want to give them an opportunity to take this down. They can't zone away Peanuts. Toby on the edge. Can't break that crown. That's massive. So close to it, but not quite enough. Zekka, TP for the split push. Here we go. Trying to interrupt it. Gen.G are just sprinting for it. Zekka is just sailing on in. And the double TP should be enough. They stop the backs of Gen.G. They bait them into the team fight, and that is going to do it. Hamalai Esports will take down the Nexus and force it. Going to get the Electrocute proc, and the Sejuani is bullied away from this area. They were setting up for some sort of dive, though, and the main thing is, is that Young Jake gets down here to protect his bottom lane. The Faker has the inside track, and he's looking to make his way over. Oh, that's a lot of value with that volley as well, as now T1 bearing down on this turret. Fake is gonna move in, Ghost already in hand. Arctic Assault is good, as there it is! He bonks their heads together, can he get the kill though? Here's the question, the answer is yes. Owner's gonna lock that one down, it's another kill to go over to T1, they'll lose the Elise. Yeah, King in down here as well, so Jinji kind of know where the cannon is at this point in time. That brush is going to be really nice for Maokai, as there's the engage, they get the Zaya, and they hunt her to zero her! Down goes Viper without clicking a single button, as Clid will be following next, as they are just pounding them down. Double kill for Jovi, and Genji find the angle. Torrent threatening the Counter-Strike. Here it is, just to guarantee the Drake. That is Hextech Soul and the Nature's Grasp. Also doing a fair bit of work. Doran going down extraordinarily low, but Pace, he's the main character of this one. It's a hook. He's going to connect onto Pace somehow, but he stays alive. It's not enough. He flashes. It's a Quadra. It's the it could be the Pentakill because of Give it course. to him. Give it to him. Oh, there it is. The Pentakill.
to kill for pace. Team fight around the Herald and run with it. What I didn't really factor in. Okay, Emperor's Divide is going to come through. Viper will turn up. There's some immediate teleports to come down here as they need to kill Doran. They do manage to take him down, but there's the Buster Shot. Jovi is trying to outplay the picks up the double now as Kingen tries to get out of this alcove and Jovi grabs the... Jovi didn't have any more time than what he was given. He didn't have backup. He just had fodder and he still trapped the enemy and did the damage to make it work. Incredible play from an incredible player on an incredible team. Even when it looks like these guys have flopped, again and again and again, they resurface. And then he sold it? Uh, Doran's trying to kill this turret. I, I don't know why he keeps doing this, but he's in a lot of trouble. He's trying to trade back now onto BDD, but even he's not too confident. Okay, flash away from the one ult. As now he's got oh some support, God. a huge bait, and Doran is going to pick up the kill for his team. Delight actually gets it, but that was all Doran. Many moons ago, see whether the cash is going to happen. Faker on a beautiful flank. Canyon moving towards the Drake. Can they secure it is the question as Faker moves in. All right, here we go. The Ornhorn going to come through. It's going to get denied as now oh, he tries to get back, but it's actually the Rend that locks down the Ocean Soul. But still, the Sejuani going to go down low. But look at the Cassidy and damage. It is absurd. And this game, ladies and gentlemen, I think is just over. It's going to be the Quadra kill. Like a torch. And That's people get up and look at that damage and the bulldog. Jeez. That's in the back line. Dude is getting chunked as well. DRX trying to stay alive here in this game, and they might just be able to, unless Dudu has something to say about it, as he will take down Podak at the end of the day. Young Jay will just not die as they don't quite have the damage. So many low health bars though. That's Croco and Yehu trying to take out the Sante, but it's literally impossible. You cannot take. The Cassante out of the game, as they will try now. They are so close, a couple more hits, but no, it will not happen. And Yehu just barely with the He's Yumi. dead! Not eligible. Peanut going full armor, Sunfire. Oh. Here we go again. Faker is going to have to flash. And Zeus, he nearly dies. He's just trying to stand here. He's an Aatrox, and now you can't get away from this Camille. So Zeus is going to go down. We got a tidal wave coming in. Faker desperate to keep them around to get something done. It pays. He has nowhere to go. What? So he just goes forward. He just takes them out. And T1 can't get away. They all get Hayes playing Zeri to finish us off. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to watch highlights from other regions, check out our LCS and LEC videos. Let us know in the comments what you want to see next, and subscribe to never miss another upload. See you next time!